like blowing up and shrapnel hitting people by like firemen, it'll release it. It'll release the gas instead of like compression. You remember pressure plus pipe, so you know too much pressure. Now the reserve space. Good question. The reserve space. Um, it's because it moves around a lot. It suddenly moves around a lot. You know what I'm saying? And what happens is so the it allows it to get a room. Exactly. So it won't expand, right? Because that that uh, without the acetone, without sufficient amount of acetone. That, 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 that atom gas will flex his, yeah, it'll flex his muscles, it'll start expanding like this, it starts it, 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 it will, yeah, that metal, it will break through that metal, it will, the tank will split, yeah, it will blow up. That's how much pressure will build up in that tank without the acetone. So the acetone, is, it keeps it calm, it stabilizes, it keeps it calm. You know, they put a certain amount of acetone in there to keep it calm, or you want to be able to use that tank. Out. So, also sometimes the acetone, like I said, it does come out as you're welding. So your flame might fluctuate once in a while. It might change up, you know, with the temperature. You know what I'm saying? So it's not your fault. It's because of the, the acetone. It might be escaping a little bit more faster, or, right? So that's what it is. But keep in mind, the acetone is, is flammable. That's what gives it that the hot, the hotness. Also, you know the temperature. It's flammable. That's the color stuff. So whenever if you're painting, keep the keep the uh, painting away from any any flammables. You know, people don't, don't know that uh, they're painting and then they're smoking right next to that uh, painting. You know what I'm saying? Uh, try to keep that can away from any kids, any anybody that's like, you know anything like that. Uh, Well, this one too, you gotta just sit and remember the stuff. Alright, let's go over a settling gas. How is this settling supposed Alright, we'll go over that. Okay. Leader lines, the blueprint, the blueprint, and I have a note on them. And she said, the attention, whatever. Nope, uh, use thick wording, whatever. 
Calcium, acetylene gas, which is acetylene gas is made of C2 and H2. So acetylene gas is made of acetylene gas is made of two carbon and two hydrogen. And then you have the water underneath it. Then you have calcium hydroxide.
and it's a cold body tomorrow. Okay, that's true. And it's a... And it's a cold byproduct. Okay, so, right? So, coal is basically like charcoal. All right, miners get paid a lot of money to excavate charcoal, right? Or coal, coal. They go miles and miles into the earth's crust. It's actually a hazardous job, right? Um, coal miners and stuff, coal mining. And you use this when you go and you buy like rich bird, rich bird uh, charcoal for your grill. It's um, so uh, because it's flammable. All right, so you might just put a little butane, a uh, lighter, lighter uh, butane in there uh, with the oxygen from the atmosphere, a little light through it, it just boom, right? It just gets cooked in there, right? Uh, And then I just write this word here. Electrolysis here. Anybody know what electrolysis is? What they use it for? Electrolysis is that they pack electricity through water and they're able to freshen, freshen off the elements with it, right? And some of it will go to, to the positive terminal and the other ones will go to the negative terminal. So it'll track, it'll separate it, all right? Like uh, the hydrogen will go to the negative and then the oxygen goes to the positive or, or, or so forth, right? So, right. so electrolysis is also used for hair removal, for tattoo removal. So, so I had a tattoo and I think that electrolysis out of time. So a long time ago, you go to Columbia Presbyterian, they have the electron beam, they'll, they'll, they can take off a tattoo. You, know, you gotta go through sessions and stuff. Like 250 a session, something. So you might have to go through two sessions the same. There's nothing wrong with tattoo, but I I had a tattoo when I was uh, younger, and it was on my head. And it, the guy that did the tattoo made a mess out of my head. He, he took my hand and said, let me test the ink on your hand. I was, little, I was a young kid. You know, and I didn't know what he was doing. He said, let me get your hand. He goes, I said, what are you doing? He said, yeah, I'm there. Just let me see. Want me to write your name on it? He said, yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, but whatever. And I didn't have to, you know, understand it back then. I was like, oh. So as I got older, uh, I had to get it removed. So the guy, I did like probably like three sessions, Columbia, Columbia Presbyterian.